Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today we will study the topics of ring theory. That is, we will discuss about the theorem. If two integral domains are isomorphic, then their field of quotients are also isomorphic. But the converse is not true. Now let's get started. D. Now another problem which we will discuss is If B1 is isomorphic to D2, B2 integral domains then their field of quotients is also isomorphic. का प्रूफ देखने के लिए व्हाट वी विल डू वी विल डिफाइन अ मैप लेट एफ फ्रॉम डी वन टू डी टू बी द गिवन आइसोमॉर्फिज्म क्योंकि हमें दे रखे हैं ना दैट डी वन इज आइसोमॉर्फिक टू डी टू एंड द फील्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस एफ वन एंड एफ टू कैसे डिफाइन होंगे बेसिकली एफ वन इज इक्वल टू ए कॉमा बी वेर A comma B belongs to D1 and B is not equal to zero. Similarly, F को कैसे define होगा हमारे पास? X comma Y such that X and Y belongs to D2 and Y is not equal to zero. जैसे हमने definition के according field of quotients define किए थे. Now we will define a map phi from F1 to F2 such that phi of a comma b is equal to f of a and f of b. Since f was a map from d1 to d2, so f of a would be ये किसका element है d2 का? ये भी element है d2 का. अब यहाँ पे b is not equal to zero, therefore f of b is also not equal to zero. ये हमें कैसे पता है? Because a comma b belongs to F1, which in turn implies a b belongs to D1, b not equal to zero. इससे तो हमें ये पता लग गया, b is not equal to zero. And इस information से क्या पता लगा? That f a comma f of b belongs to D2, and hence f a comma f b belongs to capital F. Two. Now to show that phi is well defined and one one, what we will do? Phi of a comma b is equal to phi of c comma d. That is f of a comma f of b. Equal to f of c comma f of d, which in turn is equal to f of a comma f of b is related to f of c comma f of d, which in turn implies we will use the definition of this relation. f of a into f of d is equal to f of b into f of c. Since f is isomorphism, therefore it is also homomorphism. That is, f of a d is equal to f of b c. अब ये isomorphism था तो obviously f would be one one also, which in turn implies a d is equal to b c, which in turn implies a comma b is related to c comma d, which in turn implies that a comma b is equal to C comma D. ये तो हो गया process show करने का that phi is one one. अब इन्हीं को अगर reverse कर देंगे steps को तो समय पता लग जाएगा that phi is well defined. Now to show that phi is onto what we will do for any x comma y belonging to capital F two. X and y belongs to D two. There exists a comma b belonging to d1 such that 
f of a is equal to x and f of b is equal to y since f was onto which was given to us then phi of a comma b would be f of a comma f of b which is equal to x comma y hence this a comma b is the v image of a arbitrary chosen element of capital f2 and hence phi is onto now we have to show karna hai isomorphism proof karne ke liye that phi is a ring homo इसको शो करने के लिए अगेन वी विल टेक टू एलिमेंट्स फाइव ऑफ ए कॉमा बी प्लस सी कॉमा डी इज इक्वल टू फाइव ऑफ बी डी प्लस बी सी कॉमा बी डी विच इन टर्न इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ ए डी प्लस बी सी कॉमा एफ ऑफ बी डी now phi of a comma b plus phi of c comma d is equal to f of a comma f of b plus f of c comma f of d now isme plus operation kaise use hota hai f of a f of d plus f of b into f of c comma f of b into f of d now since f is isomorphism we know that f would be a homomorphism also therefore this quantity would imply f of ad plus bc comma f of bd because f is a homomorphism and hence these two equations are equal therefore phi preserves addition operation now for multiplication operation phi of a comma b into c comma d is equal to phi of ac comma bd which in turn is equal to f of ac comma f of bd now since we know that f is a homomorphism it would be f of a into f of c comma f of d into f of d which in turn is equal to f of a comma f of b into f of c comma f of d which is equal to as we know by the definition of multiplication phi definition of phi a comma b into phi of c comma d and hence phi is a ring homomorphism and therefore we can say phi is an isomorphism which in turn implies f1 is isomorphic to f2 but iska converse true nahi hai because agar mai pas do field of quotients isomorphic ho to zaruri nahi hai jinke wo field of quotients hai wo bhi isomorphic ho iska dekhne ke liye that converse is not true what we do jaise ki jo field of quotients hain of e1 integers and integers are same kya hai wo rationals but e1 integers and integers are not isomorphic as integral domains and we also have another property that any two field of quotients of an integral domain are isomorphic which in turn signifies the uniqueness of field of 
portions. Thank you.